Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Eddie Altman, your PBI instructor. All right, so here's a great drill I laid out. Um, just did this one last night. This is to help you understand the tangent line. Path the cue ball will take after contact with your object ball. All right, so, and that's if you hit center on the cue ball. And you can see the variations in track lines, or I should say um, the path of the cue ball as you change how you hit the cue ball. So again, the tangent line's gonna be a 90 degree. So you can see the way I have it laid out, my object ball would be right here. I'm shooting it into this corner pocket. And you can see that 90 degree angle right here, all right? And that I would scratch into that other corner pocket. So, you know, you could take your hand and do one of these to get a rough idea, something like that. So you can get a rough idea, you know, place it over the ball, um, over your object ball, and you could see what's gonna happen with the cue ball. It'll give you a general idea, um, and, and it works pretty well. So for this one, like the way I have it set up, again, my cue ball is over here, object ball here. If I hit a center shot, all right, like a stun shot, that cue ball, I mean, the object ball is going to travel here. The cue ball is going to go into the other, other corner pocket. Now, to avoid that scratch, either I put follow on the cue ball, and you can see my track line for the cue ball as a follow shot. And if I draw it, I'm coming to the other side of the pocket. So again, understanding this is tremendous when you're playing. All right, so I'm going to take this shot. This way you can see what's going to happen. So I'm going to take it as a stun shot. You can see how it followed that exact line down into the corner pocket. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one as a follow shot. So you can see I came right down that line. And that was my follow. So big difference of scratching in that corner pocket by just adjusting, um, you know, I went about a tip, tip and a half up on the cue ball. So now I'm gonna take this as a draw shot. So you can see the path that it came, right? And again, remember, it all depends on how hard you hit the shot, all right? So it's the stroke speed, and that will determine, will it even come further out on a follow? Will it come a little less? So again, you know, you just practice this. Set this shot up, um, freeze this image. Let me move that out of the way. Freeze this image, all right? And you'll be able to practice this drill and have a better understanding on how to avoid that scratch shot. So that's what it's about. I want you to be able to understand the tangent line. So remember, you know, let's say that's my object ball, here's my cue ball, and what I could do is do the 90 degree. So I, mean, I got short fingers, I gotta stretch them out, but again, basically I'm putting my index finger right above the object ball, and my thumb as well. And you can see my fingers pointed towards that corner pocket and my thumbs pointed towards this corner pocket. So that gives me the general idea of, okay, well, that's the direction if the contact that the cue ball is gonna travel if I hit center. So remember that, you know, practice that. And again, um, it's gonna give you a much better understanding and that's what this drill is about and what this video is about. So. Um, I, this would be one of my shortest videos, but again, understanding the tangent line is so important and I hope you um, practice this, get a better understanding of it. Let me move that out of the way so you can see a little bit better. And um, adjust your speed accordingly. You know, hit a little harder, hit a little softer, 
and see what happens with the cue ball on the follow shot and do the same as the draw shot. So, and you'll be able to um, get a much better understanding of the cue ball path and that's what the tangent line is on a center hit shot on the cue ball which is called stun shot.